So I was playing around with the Kaspersky Lab secure password check, and I have to say, some of the times to crack are a bit optimistic, depending on the password that you put in. For example, if you have something simple, like the top password that most people use is 12345, for five, your password is too short. There are widely used combinations. It'll be cracked in one second. Well, that's a tad optimistic. I say zero seconds, actually. One, two, three, four, five is one of the first passwords worth checking. Another password worth checking is something like admin. Eight seconds. Wow. Again, I would say more like one or two seconds. Closer to one, I would think. Let's me in. One second. Easy. So much of the advice nowadays is to use a password phrase, more than one word. Actually, you can kind of use complete mess as well, like as a random characters from a random character generator, a random password generator. But if you have something like two words, numbers, and a symbol, well, that will be cracked in the four centuries. However, I can crack that in my lifetime no, not just my lifetime, in less than 30 minutes. 30 minutes is all this is going to withstand. Of course, it depends on the type of hashes that I have. In my case, I'm doing an audit of Windows NTLM passwords legitimately for my company. But yeah, let me show you a combination attack in Hashcat. I have an assortment of password lists here, including a couple that I've actually made. This is using words that I found on my company's website and company's Wikipedia page. I made up a list of words and I made up a list of modifiers, which includes some more basic things like reception, accountant, password, is great, bad, sucks, etc. Just some more basic terms. And combining a 1.6 kilobyte file with 9.5 kilobyte file in a couple of different ways, uh, it brings up a file of 14 meg. Of course, this is very specific, so actually using an English dictionary, one that I've downloaded called corncob lowercase, which is 586 kilobytes in size, combine that together, gives you a file of 14 gig. So the word wallet and basket actually exist in the corncob dictionary. So combining them together using Hashcat Utility Combinator will give me that password. I'll leave a link to this GitHub page, but if you're using something like Kali Linux, these will already be pre-installed. But looking at the command, we have combinator file one file two. So the way you use it is you put two dictionary files, so in my case company words, company modifiers, and output the file. So let's just say call it combined company.dic. And that's pretty quick because it's only a small file, but if you're looking at generating a 14 gig file, it will take a few minutes. And you can push this into Hashcat as a normal dictionary. Now there is actually another way of using the combinator within Hashcat. And that's attack type one. I'm using the hash type of M1000, so let me show you what that is. Do man hashcat, and down the end you have a list of hash types, so 1000 is NTLM. Then you specify the hashes file, and then two dictionary files. In this case, I can use the same file twice. And that was pretty devastating, so I just ran through the dictionary combined with itself uh, in less than a few seconds and I found a few more passwords. You'll notice that all these are very basic. This is just lowercase letters. So you could try using a rule on that. Now the rules on the combinator of Hashcat are actually very limited. You can only specify a single rule. So using dash J and dash K to specify the left-hand rule and the right-hand rule respectively. For example, if I want an uppercase first letter, I would push the rule C in there, lowercase C. And you can see I've found a few more passwords. And the best one I found at work was password phrase. Someone took the literal term of create a password phrase as password phrase. <laughs> Honestly, you couldn't make it up. So my wallet basket password had a few extra numbers and letters at the end of the password. So how can I do this with a rule? Well, not easily this way. In fact, I can't do it this way. I'd literally have to specify one different set of numbers at a time. I can't just do question mark D, question mark D, which would be decimal and decimal over and over again. If you're short on disk space, you could actually pipe the command in. Or if you're doing something like Combinator 3, which is three dictionary files combined, which could be absolutely enormous. So that'd be Combinator, the two dictionary files, pipe, hashcat, attack type is zero, straight. 
hash type for me, NTLM, a rule to use. And I've got more information about rules than the previous video I did, which is the hybrid dictionary attack. And then a hashes file. Okay, that was running in standard input mode, but we have no idea how long it's actually going to take to complete. It'll only update every 10 seconds. Yeah, you'll get an idea of the progress. But since I've actually got the file here, let's just use it. So that is hashcat tag type zero straight m1000 rule append three digit symbol uppercase first letter the hashes file and dictionary file I want to use combined corn cob eight. So how long is it going to take to complete? 23 minutes 59 seconds. Ouch. So two dictionary words, a couple of digits and a symbol, not four centuries, 24 minutes. So that may be a bit surprising just how quick it can be cracked, but it is entirely possible to crack two word passwords. It does start getting a bit longer for three words onwards. But thanks for watching, see you all later.